The world can seem very confusing in these current times. Since the early 90s, we've been weaned and spoon-fed reality TV shows until they became an addiction and a huge success and moneymaker for large global companies. Non-celebrities and members of the public were catapulted into the world of TV through game shows, cooking contests, dating and love shows, sports, singing and dancing competitions, holiday shows and survival contests. It all seemed to be based on rivalry and combat, and sometimes with hidden cameras hoping to catch people gossiping, judging, and generally behaving badly. It was assumed that many of us were addicted and enjoyed seeing real life dramas of people doing wrong, being punished and penalized. It was assumed that it made people feel better about themselves and their own lives. However, that TV experiment didn't really work. Perhaps because it wasn't reality after all, and behind the scenes, it was just staged and preordained, deliberately planned to humiliate, exploit, and make a mockery out of the contestants. Perhaps it didn't work because the public realized it didn't make them feel better about their own lives, because they didn't enjoy seeing people punished and mocked. Perhaps it was because it also mocked the viewers themselves. And perhaps it was a combination of all of those things. The natural human instinct is to cheer for the little guy and want the underdog to win, a fact that was forgotten until recently. Thankfully, a different kind of reality TV show is emerging. One where people are encouraged to win, to build bonds and friendships, to construct things together as part of a community or team and to empower their fellow contestants to achieve and be the best they can be through encouragement and compliments. There is no better or more uplifting feeling than seeing good things happen to good people. Wanting to see people happy and successful is human nature and it's real. That's what reality TV should be about uniting, togetherness, uplifting and real, without hidden agendas. Television was invented for two positive reasons, for education and for entertainment. It's also about a choice. The old reality TV shows weren't reality at all. They were artificial, meaning not real. Exactly the same with AI, or to give it its full name, artificial intelligence. That's exactly what it is. Intelligence that isn't real. It's artificial. It's not reality. If it's not real, then it's a lie and it's fake. Just like fake news.